uh, welcome to the youtube channel of ranker buzz uh, today we are here again with the ongoing series of landmark judgments and this is the sixth lecture in this series uh, about the landmark judgments of the year 2021 and 22 so let's begin with the today's session today we will again discuss certain important cases from the year 2021 and 22 so the very first case in this lecture is the sg vom batkare versus union of india 2022 so this is a very landmark case with respect to the sedition the case of sedition which is mentioned under section 124a of the ipc so this was very much uh, you know very much in the news uh, in the last few months because as you must be knowing that there are a number of sedition cases being imposed on the you know the citizens working in different areas in different states so it was a, it was having a lot of controversy that is why it went to the supreme court and the supreme court decided in this particular case about you know just you know इस जो लॉ है इसको कुछ देर के लिए स्थगित करने के लिए इसको रोक देने के लिए कि इफ देर इज एनी केस अंडर दिस दैट मस्ट बी स्टॉप्ड विद द इमीडिएट इफेक्ट यू नो टिल द टाइम देर इज नो फर्दर ऑर्डर बाय द सुप्रीम कोर्ट सो लेट्स लुक एट द यू नो फैक्ट्स इन द डिसीजन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर केस नाउ so if you look at this case in this petition द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनैलिटी ऑफ द सेक्शन वन ए ऑफ द Indian Penal Code 1860 dealing with the offence of sedition was challenged. So in this, the law of sedition that is mentioned under Section 124A of the IPC was challenged before the three-judge bench of the Honourable Supreme Court. The three-judge bench of Supreme Court has urged the state and the central government to restrain from registering any FIR, continuing any investigation, or taking any coercive measure by invoking Section 124 of IPC while sedition law is under consideration. So, the three-judge bench of the Honorable Supreme Court decided that. द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट एंड द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट दोनों ही जो है मस्ट रिस्ट्रेन दम सेल्फ मीन्स दे मस्ट नॉट फाइल न्यू एफ आई आर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द सेडिशन एंड वॉट एवर इन्वेस्टिगेशन इज गोइंग ऑन यू नो तो दैट मस्ट बी यू नो दैट मस्ट बी स्टॉप फॉर सम टाइम ओके अंडर यू नो एंड नो न्यू केसेस टू बी फाइल्ड अंडर वन ट्वेंटी फोर ए ऑफ द आई पी सी अंटिल दिस पर्टिकुलर लॉ द सेडिशन लॉ इज अंडर कंसिडरेशन जब तक ये कंसिडरेशन में है सुप्रीम कोर्ट के माननीय न्यायालय के जब तक इसके ऊपर कोई भी फर्दर जो है काम ना किया जाए किसी भी स्टेट या सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट द्वारा ऐसा डिसीजन यहाँ पे सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने यहाँ पे दिया है एंड सच डायरेक्शन इज बिन इशू टू द स्टेट एज वेल एज टू द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट then we will look at the you know what does 124a talks about aakhir 124a kehta kya hai so if we we look at it whoever by words either spoken or written koi shabdo ke dwara chahe wo bole gaye ho chahe wo likhit roop mein ho ya fir kisi sign ke dwara ho or by visible representation or otherwise kisi bhi tarike se kisi words ka uchcharan kiya gaya hai brings or attempts to bring into hatred or contempt मीन्स कि अगर वो किसी भी तरीके से वो बोले गए या लिखे गए शब्द अगर किसी तरीके से सोसाइटी के अंदर हेटरेट पैदा करते हैं या फिर किसी तरीके का कंटेम्प्ट होता है और एक्साइट्स और अटेम्प्ट टू एक्साइट डिसफेक्शन टूवर्ड्स द गवर्नमेंट और अगर वो अटेम्प्ट करता है या फिर एक्साइट करता है डिसफेक्शन किसकी तरफ सरकार की तरफ यू नो द गवर्नमेंट स्टैब्लिश बाई लॉ इन इंडिया जो सरकारें यहाँ पे चुनी गई हैं अगर उनके खिलाफ इस तरीके से कुछ भी बोलता है शेल बी पनिस्ड विद इम्प्रिजनमेंट फॉर लाइफ टू विच फाइन मे बी एडेड ठीक है कि मीन्स यू नो इम्प्रिजनमेंट देर इज अ प्रोविजन ऑफ इम्प्रिजनमेंट अलॉन्ग विद अ फाइन विद इम्प्रिजनमेंट और विच मे एक्सटेंड टू थ्री ईयर्स टू विच fine may be added or with fine so there is a penal consequences if you are you know if you are uh, you know fir has been filed against you and you you are charged with the sedition and the you know it has been proved and you are convicted under this then you must be uh, you know going to the prison for some time or it may lead to life also so this was the provision of 124a it is a very archaic law which was there from the britishers time and it has been time and again used by the 
governments to suppress the voice of individuals as per you know certain section of people but it is again important in certain aspects to you know uh, to uh, to have a you know a good environment in the society to not to disturb the tranquility in the society so this is also important so it has it has two faces of one coin only so with respect to the, uh, the supreme court is saying basically that uh, you know this law must not be misused iska misuse karna galat hai so here it was contended before the court court ke uh, samaksh jo hai kuch baatein kahi gayi jaise ki that is the provision of the law dates back to 1898 and predates the constitution itself kehta hai ki ye law jo hai ye constitution se bhi pehle ka hai 1898 ka hai bahut hi archaic hai and is being misused aur iska misuse kiya jata hai the attorney general had also on an earlier date of hearing given some instances of glaring misuse of this provision aur kai dafa is piche ki jo iski hearings hui court ke paas wahan pe attorney general ne bhi mana jo ki ek sarkari vakeel hai unhone bhi mana ki ha iska misuse jo hai kafi baar kiya gaya hai the union government the union of india agreed with the prima facie opinion expressed by the court that the rigor of section 124a of ipc is not in tune with the current social environment सो so, यहाँ पे जो केंद्र सरकार है यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया है उसने भी माना दैट अगर हम प्राइम ऑफ एस आई एक नजर में अगर देखें इसको तो कोर्ट की कोर्ट का जो ओपिनियन है इस सेक्शन को लेके और इसके यूज को लेके आज के करंट दौर में तो कहीं ना कहीं वो सही है ऐसा केंद्र सरकार का भी मानना था एंड वॉज इंटेंडेड फॉर अ टाइम वेन दिस कंट्री वॉज अंडर द कोलोनियल रिजीम और माना कि हाँ ये लॉ जो बना था वो तब के लिए बनाया गया था जब इंडिया जो था वो कोलोनियल रिजीम के अंतर्गत था in the light of the same the union of india may reconsider the aforesaid provision of law aur yahan pe kendra sarkar ki taraf se yahan pe mana mana ki bhai agar supreme court chahti hai to we can reconsider this law hum ise reconsider kar sakte hain ki kya isme koi badlav ki zarurat hai ya fir we need to change this law or we need to repeal this law so whatever is there we will uh, we will study about it and make a report on it to aisa yahan pe union government ne supreme court ke samaksh aisa kaha then being cognizant of security interest and integrity of the state on one hand ek taraf hai ki bhai iska cognizance lena ki security interest mein country ki that the security of the country must not be compromised fir desh ki uh, akhandata ko bhi banaye rakhna integrity ko banaye rakhna ek hath mein and dusri taraf civil liberties ki right to freedom of speech and expression that is also very very important the court observed that there is a requirement to balance both set of consideration yahan pe court ne kaha in dono hi cheezon ko chahe wo desh ki security ki baat ho akhandata ki baat ho chahe wo individual civil liberties ki baat ho dono ko hi wahan pe balance karna it is our duty and which is very very difficult exercise bahut hi difficult exercise hai ye ye court ne yahan pe mana then the court observed we expect that till the reexamination of the provision is complete kehta hai jab tak ki iska reexamination na ho jaye it will be appropriate not to continue the usage of the aforesaid provision of law by the governments court ne yahan pe kaha jab tak ki iska reexamination na ho jaye sedition law ka hamara ye manna hai ki is law ko continue na kiya jaye kisi bhi sarkar dwara chahe wo kendra sarkar ho chahe wo स्टेट गवर्नमेंट हो कोई भी जो है इसका मिसयूज मिसयूज क्या कोई यूज ना करे फिलहाल जब तक कि ये रिकंसिडर ना हो जाए रीएग्जामिन ना हो जाए तो वी मस्ट वेट फॉर द रीएग्जामिनेशन ऑफ दिस सेडिशन लॉ हेंस द सुप्रीम कोर्ट वाज ऑफ द ओपिनियन द फाइनल ओपिनियन वाज दैट द स्टेट एंड द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट आर अर्ज टू रिस्ट्रेन फ्रॉम रजिस्ट्रिंग एनी एफ कंटिन्यूइंग एनी इन्वेस्टिगेशन और टेकिंग एनी कोर्सिव मेजर by invoking section 124a of ipc while the sedition law is under consideration okay to so, yahan pe kaha gaya pehli direction ye di gayi the central government and the state government must restrain themselves apne aap ko roke kisi bhi tarike ki aise uh, fir register karne se ya continue karne se investigation ki jo ki sedition law se related hai secondly all pending trials appeals and proceedings with respect to the charge framed under 124a of ipc must be kept in abeyance means ki abhi jo hai iso suspension mein dal diya jaye 
कि इसको सस्पेंड कर दिया जाए कुछ समय के लिए जो भी ट्रायल या अपील या जो प्रोसीडिंग्स किसी भी कोर्ट में चल रही है उसको फिलहाल के लिए सस्पेंड कर दिया जाए जब तक कि इसके अंदर फर्दर फाइनल ऑर्डर नहीं आ जाता है ऐसा यहाँ पे कोर्ट ने एक और डायरेक्शन दिया यहाँ पर फिर उसके बाद कोर्ट कहता है इफ एनी फ्रेश फ्रेश केस इज रजिस्टर्ड अंडर वन ए ऑफ आई द अफेक्टेड पार्टीज आर एट लिबर्टी टू अप्रोच अप्रोच द कंसर्न कोर्ट फॉर अप्रोप्रिएट रिलीफ कहता है कि अगर किसी के ऊपर एक फ्रेश केस अगर जारी भी हो जाता है और अगर उस पर अप्लाई भी हो जाता है उसके ऊपर एफ हो जाती है देन अफेक्टेड पार्टी कैन गो टू द यू नो रिस्पेक्टिव कोर्ट जिस भी कोर्ट से उसको रिलीफ की उम्मीद है उसके अंदर वो जा सकती है एंड दे कैन टॉक दे कैन से दैट इट इज द जजमेंट ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट अबाउट दिस जजमेंट The court are requested to examine the relief sought, taking into account the present order passed as well as clear stand taken by Union of India. So, यहाँ पे courts के लिए भी direction दी कि जब भी ऐसा case आपके ऊपर कोई relief मांगने के लिए आए, जिसके ऊपर कि 124A में case हुआ है, then you must take into uh, you know examine the present judgment means this judgment of Supreme Court जिसकी हम अभी बात कर रहे हैं, उसको मध्य नजर रखते हुए ही उसके अंदर वहाँ पे उसको relief grant करें. then further the union of india further union of india shall be at liberty to issue directives to the state government union territories to prevent any misuse of 124a then finally ye bhi kaha ki bhai union of india jo kendra sarkar hai wo chahe to apni taraf se kuch directions issue kar sakti hain jo bhi rajya sarkare hain ya fir union territories hain unke liye ki bhai wo iska misuse kisi bhi tarike se na kare The above directions may continue till further orders are passed. और यहाँ पे कोर्ट ने कहा जब तक कि कोई फर्दर ऑर्डर हम पास ना कर दें जो बातें हमने इसके अंदर कही है वो कंटिन्यू करेंगी दैट मीन्स नो न्यू केस शेल बी रजिस्टर्ड और कंटिन्यूड द इन्वेस्टिगेशन इन टू वन ट्वेंटी फोर ए सो दिस वॉज वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट केस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द सेडिशन बिकॉज इट इज अ वेरी वेरी यू नो हॉट टॉपिक फ्रॉम लास्ट फ्यू ईयर्स सो यू मस्ट कैप keep in mind this particular judgment that is sj wombat kere versus union of india 2022 related to sedition that is section 124a of ipc then coming to the next important judgment of this year is the buddha dev karmaskar versus state of west bengal 2020 so this case was related to the identity of the you know identity right to have identity for the sex workers you know whatever sex workers are there then it was about the right to identity right to identity means they must also get a right to have identity card they must be you know given the aadhar cards even though they not they may not have any you know permanent address proof then also they must be granted aadhar aadhar card without having a permanent address because there are uh, you know situations in which uh, many uh, many such uh, sex workers do not have their you know permanent uh, you know address proof or so which they can give to the authorities for the issuance of aadhar card and because they do not have aadhar card they don't get the benefit of government schemes so that is why it is important to have such kind of right so this was this case was related to that only so here the three judge bench of the supreme court upheld the sex workers right to identity and issued detailed directions for their protection and upliftment to yahan pe jo three judge bench thi supreme court ki usne yahan pe ye mana that uh, you know there is a right to identity of the sex workers also and it has also also issued the detailed directions for their प्रोटेक्शन एंड अपलिफ्टमेंट उनके अपलिफ्टमेंट और प्रोटेक्शन के लिए यहाँ पे काफी सारी गाइडलाइन जो है यहाँ पे इशू की जो है ऑनरेबल सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने द डायरेक्शन रेंज फ्रॉम प्रोहिबिटिंग पुलिस एक्शन अगेंस्ट द कंसेंटिंग सेक्स वर्कर्स अगर कोई जो है इस तरीके का काम कर रहा है बट इट इज विद द कंसेंट इट इज विद द कंसेंट ऑफ बोथ द पर्सन हु आर इन्वॉल्व इन सच एक्टिविटी देन पुलिस मस्ट नॉट टेक एनी एक्शन अगेंस्ट दैम police and medical protections for sex workers being victim of sexual assault agar koi sex worker hai jiske sath sexual assault ka victim hai then that also be you know protected by the police as well as the you know medical protection is also must be given to them 
then holding media accountable for voyeurism on revealing identity of the sex workers to directing uidi to issue aadhar card for them without insisting address proof to yahan pe sath mein media ke liye bola ki they must not reveal the identity of these workers and also directed the uidi who issues the aadhar card that they must issue the aadhar card without insisting upon the address proof ye sare directions jo hai is judgment ke andar diye gaye here the court invoked the article 142 of the constitution to fill the vacuum till such time the legislature steps in to cover the gap or the executive discharges its role yahan pe kya hai ki 120 142 mein jo supreme court ko yahan pe power di gayi hai uske andar supreme court jo hai it can legislate up to certain extent if there is no it can make certain rules if there is no legislature uh, available or some act available or some rule available from the parliament uh, for these people so uske andar yahan pe kehta hai ki tab tak hum ye directions issue kar rahe hain jab tak ki koi iske upar proper legislature nahi ban jata hai and the court remarked court yahan pe remark deta hai the constitutional regard for human decency and dignity has been explicitly incorporated into article 21 by this court kehta hai ki human decency or dignity ki jo baat hai it is covered under article 21 and article 21 is available to everyone needless to say the basic protection of human decency and dignity extends to sex workers and their children who bearing the burnt brunt of social stigma attached to their work and are removed to fringes of the society deprived of their right to live with dignity and opportunities to provide the same to their children so yahan pe supreme court yahan pe is cheez ko remark करता है इस चीज को बताता है दैट इट इज ये बताने की बात नहीं है कि भाई द बेसिक प्रोटेक्शन जो है एक ह्यूमन डिसेंसी और डिग्निटी से एक किसी भी आदमी को डिग्निटी से जीने की चाहे वो सेक्स वर्कर हो चाहे वो उनके जो चिल्ड्रन हैं वो हो उन दोनों को ही ये सारे के सारे जो है अधिकार हैं डिग्निटी के साथ जीने के एंड वी ऑल नो दैट यू नो सच यू नो पीपल एंड देयर चिल्ड्रन हैव सर्टन काइंड ऑफ यू नो स्टिग्मा इन द सोसाइटी फॉर देयर वर्क एंड they are removed to the fringes of the society means they are not mainstreamed in the society and they are deprived of their life, uh, you know right to live with dignity yahan pe kahin na kahin unke sath kai sari jo hai discrimination hota hai aur unke bachcho ko opportunity nahi mil pati hai jo ki milni chahiye it is it is you know covered under article 21 or protected under article 21 aisa yahan pe supreme court kehta hai then considering that considering that no legislation has been made till date even though the recommendations were made by the panel in 2016 the court exercised its power under 142 of the constitution to implement the above mentioned recommendations to jabki kaha ki 2016 mein hi jo hai committee ne report di panel ne report di report di iske bare mein iske bawajood bhi is pe koi kaam nahi hua legislature ke dwara isliye yahan pe hame jo hai supreme court ko 142 ki power istemal karte hue yahan pe directions ko implement karna pad raha hai accordingly the state governments uts were directed to act in strict compliance of the recommendations by the panel yahan pe jo hai accordingly jo bhi baatein yahan pe supreme court ne kahi recommendations uske tahat state government ho chahe uts ho they were directed to you know act in strict compliance of the recommendation jo bhi recommendations diya gaya hai panel ke dwara that must be accepted and must be complied with similarly the competent authorities under the immoral traffic prevention act 1956 were directed to comply with the provisions of the act while the union government was directed to file its response to the recommendations made by the panel within 6 weeks yahan pe kaha gaya ki kendra sarkar 6 hafte ke andar iske andar jo hai report file kare iska response file kare jo panel ne yahan pe recommendations diye hain aur jo competent authorities hain immoral traffic prevention act 1956 can that they must uh, they are directed to comply with the provisions of the act okay then the court added the court also added the need not be gain said that notwithstanding the profession every individual in this country has a right to dignified life under article 21 of the constitution of india कहता है कि ऐसा नहीं है कि भी somebody is belonging to some other profession so they must not be given the right to 
a dignified life everybody has the same right when it comes to you know right to a dignified life the constitutional protection that is given to all individuals in this country shall be kept in the mind by the authorities who have the duty under immoral trafficking prevention act 1956 ko to kaha iske antargat jo bhi authorities aati hain they must keep in mind the constitutional protection which is given to every individual including the sex workers to they must keep in mind while exercising their power jab wo apni power ka istemal kare to is baat ko dhyan rakhe ki inke paas bhi wahi right hai jo ki ek dusre individual ke paas hai with regard to non issuance of aadhar cards to sex workers as they are unable to produce proof of residence aur jab is point pe baat aayi ki bhai aadhar card issue nahi kiya ja sakta hai because they do not have a you know they do not produce the proof of residence they do not have the proof of residence so in this regard the court issued certain directions to uidai earlier the court had issued notice to uidi and sought its suggestion in respect of respect of waiving the requirement of residence proof of sex workers pehle jo hai supreme court ne pehle bhi uidi se pucha tha ki you must give us suggestions aapko yahan pe sujhav dijiye jiske tahat ki inke liye isko waive off kiya ja sake inke liye jo hai kisi bhi tarike ki requirement na ho residence proof ki the uidi had proposed that sex workers who are on nacos list that is national aids control organization can be issued aadhar card without having to submit a residence proof kaha ki jo bhi naco ki list mein hai they are not required to submit any residence proof and they will be issued the aadhar card provided a performa certificate is submitted by a gazetted officer at naco साथ ही साथ कि भाई अगर एक सर्टिफिकेट का परफॉर्मा है जो कि गैस्ट्रेड ऑफिसर के द्वारा नैको में सबमिट किया गया हो एंड द स्टेट हेल्थ डिपार्टमेंट और द स्टेट हेल्थ डिपार्टमेंट सर्टिफाइंग द पर्टिकुलर्स ऑफ द एप्लीकेंट या फिर जो स्टेट हेल्थ डिपार्टमेंट है वो सर्टिफाई करता है जो भी पर्टिकुलर्स हैं उस पर्टिकुलर इंडिविजुअल के तब उसको आधार कार्ड इशू किया जा सकता है some suggestions had been made by the organization preventing sex workers for the procedure to be followed by uidi aur yahan pe kuch suggestions aur bhi diye gaye yahan pe naco ki taraf se since uidi had accepted the given suggestions yahan pe uidi ne jo bhi suggestions the un sabhi ko accept kiya the court directed that aadhar cards shall be issued to sex workers aur yahan pe court ne direct kiya that they must be issued the you know uh, the aadhar cards the supreme court finally held there shall be no breach of confidentiality in the process including the assignment of any code in the aadhar enrollment number that identify the card holder as a sex workers kehta hai ki koi bhi aisa koi confidentiality breach nahi hona chahiye koi aisa particular code aapko use nahi karna hai jisko ki dekh ke pata chale that they belong they are the सेक्स वर्कर्स ऐसा कुछ पता नहीं चलना चाहिए ऐसा कोई कोड यूज नहीं करना है कॉन्फिडेंशियलिटी को भी ब्रीच नहीं करना है यूएडीआई को कि पब्लिक डोमेन में ये बात चली जाए दैट दिस आधार नंबर बिलोंग्स टू दिस पर्सन दैट मस्ट नॉट बी डन एंड द मैटर इज लिस्टेड ऑन ट्वेंटी सेवन सेवन टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी टू फॉर फर्दर ये आगे की हियरिंग के लिए जो है इसको आगे लिस्ट कर दिया गया है सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने कि भाई फर्दर ऑर्डर जब ये सारी चीजें कंप्लाई हो जाएंगी सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट जो है इस पर अपना जवाब देगी उसके बाद यहाँ पे फर्दर हियरिंग इस पर होने वाली है सो दिस वॉज ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट केस बिकॉज इन दिस केस इट वॉज द आइडेंटिटी ऑफ द सेक्स वर्कर्स आर बीन यू नो आइडेंटिफाइड एंड दे वर अलाउड टू बी इशूड द आधार कार्ड विदाउट हैविंग रेजिडेंस proof so this is also very very important case now coming to the next important case with respect to the neat examination 2021 and the neat counseling the reservation uh, which was allowed in the case of neat pg and the ug uh, 2021 so this is neil aurelio nunes versus union of india 2022 so this case was filed because you know certain reservation 27% plus uh, to the obcs and 10% to the ews was given by the you know the government in the neat pg and ug neat pg and ug काउंसलिंग उसके अंदर जो है जो 15% quota hota hai state ke alawa uske andar jo hai yahan pe ye de diya gaya tha तो इसी के ऊपर ये केस था कि भाई क्या वो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनली वैलिड है नहीं है क्या वो रहेगा या वो रद्द हो जाएगा ये सारी बातें कोर्ट के सामने आई एंड द कोर्ट डिसाइडेड अकॉर्डिंगली सो कंसिडरिंग द कोर्ट कंसिडरिंग द अर्जेंट नीड टू कमेंस द प्रोसेस ऑफ काउंसलिंग 
कोर्ट ने कहा दैट इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट अदरवाइज क्या पूरा साल खराब हो जाएगा बच्चों का तो इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू कमेंस द प्रोसेस ऑफ काउंसलिंग द सुप्रीम कोर्ट बेंच हैज डायरेक्टेड दैट काउंसलिंग ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ नीट पी जी एंड नीट UG 21 shall be conducted by giving effect to the reservation as provided by the notice dated 29 July 2021 including 27% reservation for OBC category and 10% reservation for EWS category in all India quota seats jo all India quota ki seats honge medical ki un sabhi ke andar jo hai 27% plus 10% jo hai reservation yahan pe continue kiya jaye filhal ke liye क्योंकि काउंसलिंग का प्रोसेस रोके जाने से काफी ज्यादा इससे प्रॉब्लम्स होंगी स्टूडेंट्स को और ऑलरेडी डिले हो चुका है एंड इट विल फर्दर डिले द प्रोसेस ऑफ काउंसलिंग सो दे मस्ट कंटिन्यू विद द प्रोसेस बाय अलाउिंग द रिजर्वेशन जो भी रिजर्वेशन यहां दिया गया है दैट मस्ट बी अलाउड The order came after notice issued by the Director General of Health Service in the Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare on 29th July 2021 was challenged by doctor who appeared in the NEET PG 2021 examination. यहाँ पे क्या है जो Health Ministry का जो यहाँ पे आपका जो भी order issue हुआ था, notice issue हुआ था, उसको यहाँ पे doctors ने challenge कर दिया था जिसकी वजह से ये case यहाँ पर आया. The notice implements a 27% reservation for OBCs class one, and 10% reservation for economically backward classes, while filling up 15% of undergraduate and 50% of the postgraduate all India quota seat in pursuance of NEET examinations. So here, ये जो रिजर्वेशन दिया गया था बेसिकली इसी के खिलाफ यहाँ पे ये फाइल किया गया था जो कि नोटिस कहता था कि इतना इतना रिजर्वेशन दिया जाए. Then it was argued before the court that there cannot be any reservation for the obc and ews category in all india uh, all india quota seats in neet pg and that the criteria for determination of ews ews category notified by this नोटिफिकेशन नंबर वॉज अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशन कहा कि नोटिस जो है वो अपने आप में ही अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल है यहाँ पे तो इसको जो है रद्द किया जाए इस ऑर्डर को ऐसा यहाँ सुप्रीम कोर्ट के सामने यहाँ पे पक्ष रखा गया On October twenty, uh, on twenty fifth October twenty twenty one, the Union government of its own accord deferred the counselling due to pendency of the petition. और यहाँ पे केंद्र सरकार ने खुद ही जो है एक बार defer उसको dates को कर चुकी थी that counselling को आगे जो है बढ़ा दिया जाए वहाँ पे pending रख दिया गया दोबारा आगे बढ़ा दिया गया thereafter the Union government filed an affidavit justifying EWS criteria on twenty sixth October twenty twenty one. तब तक तो उन्होंने रखा उसके बाद उन्होंने एफिडेविट फाइल किया केंद्र सरकार ने दैट जस्टिफाइंग द ईडब्ल्यूएस क्राइटेरिया स्टेटिंग दैट क्राइटेरिया वर अडॉप्टेड आफ्टर ड्यू डेलिब्रेशन विद द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ सोशल जस्टिस एंड एम्पावरमेंट एंड ऑल कंसर्न स्टेक होल्डर्स केंद्र सरकार ने कहा कि हम ये जो कोटा है इसको इसलिए लेके आए हैं क्योंकि हमने सभी से जो है राय मशवरा किया है वी हैव टेकन इनटू कंसीडरेशन द व्यूज ऑफ ऑल द कंसर्न स्टेक होल्डर्स एज वेल एज द सोशल जस्टिस एंड एम्पावरमेंट मिनिस्ट्री उनको हमने यहाँ पे संज्ञान में लिया है उसके बाद ही हम इसको इम्प्लीमेंट कर रहे हैं then while the supreme court observed that the formulation of the reasons in the interim order of ews reservation would take some time supreme court ne dekha ki bhai agar hame in sabhi cheezon ko examine karna hai to it will take some time and this time is very crucial for the students so that is why the supreme court allowed this reservation kaha ki hum isko reconsider karenge lekin the counseling must not stop it upheld the validity of the obc reservation in aiq seats in neat epg and the ug and directed that the counseling be conducted in order to ensure that admission procedure process is not dislocated kaha ki bhi admission procedure jo hai aisa na ho ki wo itna zyada deri se ho jaye ki pura session hi garbad ho jaye bachcho ka is wajah se you must continue with the counseling and admission process then supreme court directed that petition shall be listed for final hearing on the validity of the ews criteria as recommended by the pande committee in the third week of march abhi halaki ye hearing nahi hui hai ye july august mein scheduled hai march mein nahi ho paya decide is pe so this is still pending with the supreme court supreme court said we will take final call in this later but till now the admissions must be allowed the counseling must be allowed to every individual uh, who have applied and who is eligible under the given criteria so 
these were the cases which uh, i was about to discuss with you today these are certain important cases you must remember for your upcoming examinations so uh, this was it for today thank you so much thank you for joining keep uh, keep a track of all the uh, video lectures which we are having on this platform and uh, subscribe this channel for more updates thank you so much good evening everyone take care bye bye